What's up everyone, this is Sly for King here, and today you join me for another one of our Gary's Mod Showcase videos. Now this week, we are once again in another space map, but this time it's a little bit different because we're not actually focusing on multiple planets, this time we're actually looking at a space station. To be precise, it's the Wysark Station. So uh, I've had a quick look around and it actually looks quite intriguing. Well, I haven't looked everywhere. So just a general office, general space, that sort of deal. Uh, what else have we got? So uh, right in the center of the base, you will notice, uh, yes, okay, there is technically some planets. Uh, it looks like a map of the solar system. So obviously you've got the sun, the earth, uh, Venus, uh, the moon, uh, Jupiter, and I'm not sure what the one that is. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure actually because... Surely the one with the, ri the ring would be sad, but that's the biggest one, so it must be Jupiter. So that's a little confusing. Um, so there is a little bit of transport around the facility as well. Also, it looks like there's a tower base. Let's have a quick look upstairs. So it looks like there's a space shell over there. Whoa, that was weird. It made us jump for some reason. Uh, by the way, there is one other feature that this map does have, which I didn't realise at first, is that if you actually go onto this, it actually moves you by default. So instead of like shifting, instead of like moving forward with your character, what you do instead is you use the left and right keys to make sure that you don't fall off the edge. While the planets are literally spinning right by you. Uh, for the purpose of this video now, I'm not going to do that because that will take a while. You can also walk down here as well. Huh. I wonder if that's multiplayer related. I don't know. There reminds me of something I saw on the Quake map quite a while ago. Where it looked a bit like a power-up. So in here you've got like a laser, a laser show sort of lightning. Uh, and then you've got the main concourse. Uh, just looks like a basic workshop really. Uh, now this bit I haven't actually haven't actually looked at yet. So it looks like you've got some cafes, just uh, standard stuff really. But uh, one of the more interesting, f intriguing things about this map is it actually features a kind of working transport system. Because as you can see, like there's a cable car going like 500 miles an hour, and it doesn't look like it kills you. It would seem. So let's just have a quick trip on the cable car. Oh, that's good timing. One just turned up. And let's see, and I'll show you where it takes you. So you go pa past the planets again, and back to the other side of the map. Now let's see where that other one went. Oh, the other one's up, is it? Nope. Uh... Oh, okay, so this is how you get to the observation deck. Okay. Okay, oh, so this is how you get up, up here. Okay. Alright, so let's just quickly follow this here. Mush mushroom Saba? Samba? Okay, not sure what that is. Oh, so it just goes over there. Okay. I'm just going to quickly check this out. This mushroom Saba thing. Samba. Oh, okay. That's that's different. So it's like uh, platforms designed as mushrooms. It's actually kind of neat. I like that. So I think that's just about everything in the map that I can think of. Uh, let's just quickly fly out, see if we've missed anything. Uh, looks like we've got s a bit random. Okay, that is random. We've got like an earth-based snow area. That is weird. Weird. Okay, that's intriguing. So um, overall, this is a kind of an intriguing. Ma oh, so that's where that's that's where that lose the bar. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And looks like we got nature reserve. So I'm gonna guess that this space station is kind of like uh, for it's like a human outpost. 
uh, because there seem to be a lot of human features here. Oh, you, apparently you can. Oh, you can actually get in the space shell. I didn't know that. Okay, so there was a look at the uh, Wisark uh, space station. Uh, looks like it's based on an asteroid, to me. But uh, this could be this could be intriguing if you like if you like space maps. Oh, that's quite cool actually. The outside, they've actually done individual dots. That might have taken a while. That looks quite cool. So yeah, that was a look at the Wiser uh, space station map. As per normal, if you want to try this map out for yourself, I will leave the link down in the description below. And also, uh, if you've enjoyed today's video, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to know when my newest content will be coming out. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. And for now, this is Life King, signing out.